the final destination of this whirlwind tour is right behind me. The Lovelock Cave. The Lovelock Cave is known for the remains of a giant that had red hair. The giant, they say, was about six foot six, which in today's modern world isn't that much of a giant. Today, a lot of people stand over six foot. So to the Paiutes, I guess that really was a giant. There's also a claim laid to it that it was a cannibal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm at a vantage point where it's easy to see it because the trail that goes up to it is hugs a cliff wall. So from this point, I'm gonna zoom in on it and show you what the cave looks like from down here then I'll go up and uh, get inside the cave and get up close and personal. But again, I'm at the Lovelock Cave near Lovelock, Nevada. And we're about an hour from Reno, maybe. Um, so I'm going to flip this bad boy around. And I would put it in my background, but it's really difficult to see and recognize. So what I'm gonna do is just turn this around and give you a better perspective. I'll zoom in and we'll see what we can see. Then I'll go on around and park and walk on up to it. All right, I think that sounds real good. Let's do it. So right there, right about there in the middle of my screen is the cave. What we gotta do, we're gonna walk around from that side, this is the road you take up to it, and you walk up there, you take that, or you don't walk up there, you drive up there, park, and then walk up the trail to that point. And it's at that point is where the entrance to the cave is. But uh, this is an area, let me show you where I'm at, so you kind of get an idea that there is nothing out here. There's no facilities there. Well, excuse me. I did see an outhouse, some porta potties. But there's no restaurants out here. There's no water. Bring your own water. Bring your own food if you want to see it. It took me up. The road going out here, most of it was dirt. So let's see. Up here. Don't, want, don't know what's up there. There's my car. Dusty. And, uh. So there you go, that's where we're going. Okay, first stop, the information board. We gotta know what's going on. So it says prehistoric life, and uh, talked about the fishing. Back then there was water here, now there is not. Women gathering food, men placing duck decoys. Oh, that was the other thing. They found some old reed duck decoys, some of the oldest ones ever found. Um, those are now in a museum. I'm not sure which one or where, and they don't talk much about it here. But yeah, that out there, when these people lived here, 
was water. I mean, there was fish, there was ducks, there was everything. So they had a good food supply. Lovelock Cave, a window to the past. Okay, there's a nature trail, which I'm not gonna take. I'm here specifically for the, uh, the cave. And uh, this talks about it. Let me see, I can, let's see here. Okay, we're about as far as we can get. So let's do this. You can pause it and read it if you like. Right there. So now, I'm parked over there. You see the outhouses, uh, Santa Huts. There's a toilet over there. I didn't check to see if it was functioning or not. Um, and you got a shady area there with a bench, picnic bench. The nature trail starts here and it looks like it goes up and around that mountain there. Okay, but we're not going there. Where we're going is this trail and around that way. So, let's do this. Okay. The trail that goes up, you have to walk alongside a cliff. This is the road I came in on. And it goes all the way out there and trails all the way back to Lovelock. Lovelock is in the distance. I don't know if you can see that greenery or not. But uh, yeah, if you look down here, you'll see kind of like a rock wall. Not really a wall, but a barrier. Because they don't want anybody driving past a certain point and off the road. And also, this is the trail right here. We got cliff, we got the trail, and it drops. And over here, it gets steeper. So if you have any disabilities, like in walking or you need a wheelchair, you're not gonna make it, okay? It's tough, it's, it's a tough walk. It looks like they had a path going this way at one point, but then it got real steep, real steep suddenly so this is the easier of the trails now I have arthritis I've got a bad knee but I can still make it so we're going over there through here starting here let's do this well I'm here at the cave and uh, that's a pretty steep climb I'm winded of course I'm not in my best shape, but uh, it is what it is. And if you want to see it bad enough, you'll find a way. So behind me is an entrance to the cave. And then up here is, up here is the main cave. So I made it. So now we're gonna go inside, cause you can go inside, it's open, and take a look at it. Let's do this. Here's an entrance right here that you can go in. Ooh, it's nice and cool in here. Look at this. Isn't this uh, slick? Going this way. Now, usually I'm not a cave kind of person because I am slight, slightly claustrophobic. But uh, look at this. This is the Lovelock Cave. They've been doing diggings in here to see what else they can find. But we're gonna go on up and uh, this is the wrong entrance apparently, but that's okay. It's all in fun, man. Let's go up here to the main entrance.
When I was here last, there wasn't this much that had been excavated from it. So they really have been working on it to, I guess, see what else is here, see what else they can find. Because sadly enough, there are people that come up here and, and loot and take what they can. Which again, a reminder, when you're on this kind of property, this kind of site, don't touch, well, don't take anything, okay? It's illegal, I think it's felony, I don't know, but here we go. Clues to the past. This is what they've found so far. Okay, it was first discovered by guano miners, a.k.a. bat poo, and that was in 1924. I guess the first was in 1912, excuse me. And then they just began digging from there. You can check it out. They have been digging. Must have been a while since I've been here. Uh, they got to register where you sign, right there. I don't s sign those. And you got the, the cave archaeological site. Enjoy, but do not destroy your American heritage. Well, it's not our heritage, but it's the heritage of the Native Americans, and they deserve plenty of respect. So let's go on down. The archaeologists have, in fact, put in steps. I'm going to probably have to turn on my light. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. They got a pretty nice platform. Pretty cool. All right. Okay, this is good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to turn on my light. It's pretty dark in here. So, that's what I'll do. I should have brought a flashlight, but I didn't. That's okay, my other phone has one. You can see there, where they have been digging, and then over there. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know how much light this is going to provide. I'm ill-equipped. But. There you go. That's pretty nice. Should have brought a flashlight again, but oh well. Another area. The other side is a heck of a lot darker. Now this represents how they would conduct a dig. They sectioned off a square or a rectangle. And uh, I'm going to put my phone back in my pocket so I don't drop it. They would section off an area, and they begin their dig. I don't believe they're digging right here right now, but uh, let's check this out. See, the archaeologists, I guess, have all their supplies here. So, they, yeah, they're active up here. That's kind of cool. I mean, who knows what they're going to find, right? Here's that uh, balcony patio thingy Bob I was on. So we're going to explore around, yeah, and uh, let's go on over here. See, this is where I was at before, it was up there, so that's cool. All right now, I'm going to walk on down and see what I can get at this end. The rock up here is pretty neat. Yeah, my little flashlight on this camera is working, working good.
No, that's where I was at before. It was right there. And, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, and I remember I couldn't, couldn't make it down. So you got, goes down there. Boy, this thing is pretty extensive. It goes down even deeper, I guess. And that's what they're trying to figure out. Is what's in here? How far does it go? So, my friends, that's pretty much about it. Well, that's neat. Look at this. That is a cool looking rock. I like that. Oh, it's heavy. Damn. It's almost like concrete. Look at that thing. That's cool. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's why I included this with the other trip. There's no entrance here. No, I have to go back around. No, maybe not. Yeah, I do. I'll go back around here. Yeah, that's why I include this with the other one, because I knew it wouldn't take long. I'd been here before. They have done some excavating, some digging. And uh, they seem to have made a lot of progress. But now, that's it. This is the Lovelock Caves. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Um, this is the American heritage. But being a descendant of, being of European descent, granted our family got here in the 1700s, but still being of European de de descent, this really isn't my heritage. But it's still fun. It's still fascinating to come here and see and look and kind of take it all in. And uh, so that is the Lovelock Cave. Ooh, it's dark down here. Ooh, I wonder if it's haunted. <laughs> you never know, right? You never know. So let's go back up here where you can see my smiling mug. I just showed you how dark it is in here. There we go. So, that's it. That is the Lovelock Cave, just outside of Lovelock, Nevada. It, it's, a pre, it's all dirt, no, it's not all, most of it is dirt road. And uh, I did see as I was coming in, like a little Civic or something, uh, going past me. I don't know where he was coming from. I don't know if he was coming from this way or not. But uh, let's see what's up here. This is cool. But what concerns me, and I don't know when these things have last broken off the, the face of this thing, but I'm going to give you a glimpse of what's behind me. And some of the huge chunks of boulders that have busted off. They look pretty fresh. Well, not really, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a geologist. But get one more glimpse from the vantage point that we have right here. I'll show you the, the rock that surrounds me. It's got a curve effect to it. And uh, I guess because it was pushed up. And I'll let you see what's here before I leave. All right, let's do it. Okay, here's a panorama of the dry lake. In their time, that was water, filled with water. I mean, can you imagine trying to get across that in any kind of a boat? Ancient Lake Lahontan, look it up, Google it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. 
Lake Lahontan, ancient Lake Lahontan was massive. It covered quite a bit of Nevada. And then up here we've got the rocks, the, uh, the rock entrance right here, layers of rock, rock as far as the eye can see. The entrance, of course, is right there, right there. And then all this, all the way up there. That's what concerns me is if that breaks, if that starts falling, whoever's underneath it is gonna be in a world of hurt. And there's some pieces right there, some pieces right there. But this site really isn't visited that often. And then back around to the lake. Oh, remnants of the lake. Well, there you have it. There you have it. That is ancient Lake Lahontan. Well, what's left of ancient Lake Lahontan. And now, it's just a dust bowl. Coming out here, I can see like these, they call them dust devils. They're like a tornado, but they're dust. And uh, you may have them where you are. I don't know who's watching this, nor you're watching this from. But, uh, yeah, so that's a lot of fun. That's uh, interesting. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I came out here. Now I get to walk back to the car, go to Lovelock, fill up on gas, and head back home. I'm going to get a closing shot of this stonework, these, this cliff face, because it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, that said... The closing shot will be the rock wall, and for me, I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed the visit. Again, Lovelock Cave, outside of Lovelock, Nevada, about an hour or so, maybe more, from Reno. Depends on how fast you drive. Ready? Goodbye, and have a good one.